Hey there viewers, it's Charlie I'm back again with another Transformers review. And now that that very long, well at least for me, G1 Marathon has ended, my reviews are going to be a little bit, well, let's just say you're going to have to wait a bit longer for them now because, well, I mean, Christmas is coming, so... But well, before I go on a tangent, today's review is going to be on... The 2007 movie, Camshaft. So, as we can see, Camshaft's here, well, his colours are actually quite reminiscent of blue streaks. I mean, got grey or silver, with the black thing on the hood. And unlike blue streak, he actually does have a bit of blue on him. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, anyway, this guy was like... Uh, I can't even speak. This guy was part of the Allspark power line, from what I can remember. I might be wrong, but that's what I remember. And this guy is actually a recolor of a character called Swindle. Yes, they actually called a character who turns into a car, Swindle. I mean, last time I checked, Swindle was supposed to be an open-top Jeep, but... Yeah, it was just one of those name reusers, because from what I can remember, movie Swindle was just a drone. But we'll have a look at camshaft before I go on onto another tangent. Here we can see it's a bit flappy, as in there's a lot of flaps, but you'll see what that's for soon. He does have an Autobot insignia on the hood, which is pretty cool. Got the top. And the underneath, which of course, like every other figure, has robot junk underneath, but... Seeing how it's a car, it can be forgiven, because... The only time you ever see the, uh, the underneath of, of a car is either if it crashes or if you're doing maintenance on it. But that, that's pretty much it for the car mode. I mean... But, yeah, that's pretty much it, although there are some gimmicks. Or at least there's one gimmick. You see this button here? If you push that... It flips this out. I guess it can be some sort of super exhaust, like, make it go way faster. I mean, that is pretty cool. I'll give it that. It's pretty cool. And if you want, the doors can sort of open, but that's how you start the transformation. Speaking of which, let's just get on with that. Now, on my copy, normally the doors are held on by ball joints, but on my copy of camshaft, this door... There's a bit that's broken off because, well, it's translucent plastic. So this bit just comes off. So normally what I do is just... <laughs> seeing how it's Michael Bay, just say it blew, it blew off in, in a huge explosion while he's trying to help the other Autobots. So just if your door just has that, then just rip it off of the transformation. It's a bit easier. Don't worry, I'll come up... I have a remedy for that also in robot mode. But well, come in here. Like, if, if the other door is still attached on, like this one is, just open that, and then just open that entire thing out, like so. Then, if you can, fold out the the arms, like so. So now we have this weird, creepy, grabby mode. Come in here, split the back of the vehicle, and take what was the take what was the the shooty cannon thing, or, or the exhaust thing in vehicle mode, and just lift it up for now. If you move that down, we get the automorph. Flips up the head. There we go, just sandwich those together, and that's that's actually a pretty cool bit of transformation. Come in here, try and lift this up for now. Hit the thing, because it always does that. But spin it around at the waist. Come in here, get these bits, move them around. Like so.
Then flip out the actual heels. Yes, he does have heels, so he can stand. Come in here, try and move the the, the back windshield around like so. Move these down, and this is pretty much it. Although for this door, well, blue tie to the rescue, eh? So if I just drop the saw and shape it around like so. And with that, problem solved. So, that's pretty much camshaft in this robot mode. Yeah, as you can see, he's just leaning forward a little bit, but just that, I can't even speak. That's just so we can see him a bit better. We have the, the view in the camera. I have to admit, that transformation was actually a bit bonkers, I mean, the, this this bit was actually supposed to be around here for the vehicle mode, not to mention the flip around head. Speaking of the head, have a look at that. Well, we can see that he doesn't really have a face, it's just like a little lens. It, it, it actually reminds me of their Pretender Octopunch. And it's not just relegated to the camshaft. Swindle had this as well. Pretty much, you, like, because Swindle was one of the supposed to be one of the, Swindle was supposed to be one of the movie drones, from what I can remember. From my group, yeah. I can't even speak without repeating myself, but I'm pretty sure there was Swindle, Dreadwing, Dropkick, and I can't remember what the other guy was. But yeah, from the top of my head, Swindle, Dropkick, and Dreadwing. I can't remember. I can't remember if Camshaft's supposed to be either a drone or an individual. But I like to imagine him as an individual, maybe with a series of drones. But hey, that's just that's just my head cannon. <laughs> so for gimmicks, speaking of cannons, well, the the belly thing still works. If I can find a button. If I can even find where the bloody button is. There we go. So he still has the cannon, although... It looks more like... I don't know what it looks like. Maybe... Someone... She's bleeding and he's got blue blood coming out of his chest. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But now, for this guy's articulation, the head, well, there's nothing. Arms, I'll, I'll demonstrate using just this arm, because remember, I'm using blue tech to hold on to the door. But, well, the shoulder can move. Of course, you can T-pose. If I can be careful. Of course, you can T-pose. Pretty much a ball joint. It's got elbow here. The wrists are also the wrists are also on a ball joint, which is pretty cool. And if you want the door to move, then you can. I'll just demonstrate using this one. If you want to, you can fold this in, and that's how I prefer to display them. And I'll show that at the end of this video. Although, if you don't want the doors there, you can just pop them off. Thanks to the transformation, he does sort of have a waist swivel, although the legs can get in the way, so you have to be a bit careful with that. Speaking of which, they can move up, move back, got knees, and although I can sort of do the splits, although not that well. And well, last thing to mention, his feet can move, although I'm not going to show that because... It's not really, there's not really a stopping point. They can go, well, they can go around pretty much. So, it's it's pretty easy to knock him off balance. So, as I said earlier, I prefer to display them with the doors downwards. Like so. So, 
this is how I prefer to display camshaft. Although, as stated earlier, this this thing keeps falling off this door, so you have to be a bit careful if you also have that issue. But if you don't, then well, that's fine. So yeah, as I said, this is how I prefer to display camshaft. And so, that pretty much ends this review. So, do I recommend camshaft or swindle for that matter? Well, I'd say, yeah, but be careful. I, I mean, I do recommend this guy, but be cautious with him. Because my complaint, well, my main complaint is the translucent plastic. Because look. It looks a bit broke off during this review. So you need to be really cautious with this guy. Because translucent plastic and gold plastic, although there's none in this guy. I'm just saying, gold plastic and translucent plastic are really brittle. So be really careful with this guy. If you must transform him, maybe pop the doors off. If you have a door that's loose. Not to mention, the transformation, while fun, can get a bit fiddly at times. Not to mention, I don't really like how his face is pretty much just generic. Although, that's, that's just a nitpick. But this figure does look awesome, and I do recommend him, despite those flaws. Well, this is pretty much it for my review on Camshaft. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.